Welcome to GettingStarted.tv. I'll be your host today. Uh, I'm always your host. So we're going to be talking today about Laravel and we're going to be talking about organizing our controllers uh, when we have some uh, big applications. Um, before anything, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you could see my fingers, I am pointing down where the subscribe button is at. If you can't see my fingers, uh, there's a red button called subscribe and that was just a joke. I'm not recording my fingers at all. So let's get started. Organizing our Laravel controllers. I'm going to open up here in the terminal. I got a new Laravel install and I'm going to go to uh, PHP Artisan. I'm just going to make a few controllers here. Make controller and let's say we have an events controller and then let's do it again and we'll say we'll have like a post controller. Let's do it again. Let's say we have like a comments controller. Let's say we have some, uh, I had two S's in there. It doesn't matter. We'll just keep it like that for now. Um, admin controller. And let's say admins controller. So this is getting funny. And then users controller. Okay. And then later on, uh, we'll have some other controllers in here. But this is just to kind of get the point across. So here you can see I only have one, two, three, four, five controllers. Um, but let's say that for some reason I wanted to create a user's controller, but a user's controller that I want to be able to uh, access only via an admin level. Um, so here what I tend to do is if I want to organize these controllers, I'll create my own folders inside of this controllers file uh, folder. And for instance, I'll call this one admin. And inside of here, I'll have all my administrative um, you know, stuff that I'm going to have via an admin login. Right now I have this admins controller. I'm going to go ahead and kind of fix this to say admin. And then I'm going to fix the name here. Just rename it. I'm going to remove that S because we don't need it. Um, and I'm going to try to move this over um, here, admin. So now I move this inside the admin controller. But I've got to make sure that I namespace it correctly because here it says I'm an app, HTTP, controllers, and I'm going to just add forward slash admin. The other thing that I need to do is right here we're extending controller. So I need to make sure that I use that in order, or at least give it the path, which is app, HTTP, controller spelled correctly, and then controller. I'm going to go ahead and create a public function function index and then I'm going to return we are in admin for now so now that I have this namespace HTTP controllers admin and then I use this right here created a method right here I need to route to it somehow so I'm going to open up the web uh, route right here and the way we're going to do this is with route grouping. So here we're going to create a route group for that namespace. And that namespace is admin. So as you can tell, I'm just pulling an example out of the um, documentation here. Um, but it's very easy to kind of organize our controllers this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say route get forward slash. Because right, right before this, I'm going to add a prefix. And this prefix is what's going to, what, what do I want to type in in the URL? And I want everything inside this group to be prefixed with admin. So that way I go to the laravel.dev forward slash admin, and then all these routes are available to me. So here I'm going to say admin controller at index. So again, going over this. I moved the controller here. I namespaced it correctly. So think of it like you have existing controllers that you want to organize. In this case, I namespaced this one and I want it in, in its own area and its own subject. Um, so here, admin. So that way I have all the controllers that are deal with admin inside their own folder. At the URL level, I prefixed all of those URLs with admin. And then this namespace saying, I want you to namespace all the um, I mean, I want you to group all the uh, controllers inside here with this namespace. If I didn't have that there, then I would have to do something like this and say admin like that. 
But since I have it there, I don't need to do that. So now I can go over here, go to Laravel.dev and just click admin. Right here it says um, syntax error, unexpected class, uh, admin controller in line eight. Syntax controller right here, forgot my semicolon. Don't forget your semicolons. Here we are inside of admin. So now let's go and create a user's route. We're gonna say route get, and let's say this is the user's area where um, where an admin is gonna maintain users controller at index, just like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and create that. Well, we haven't talked about how we create that and make it go inside that folder. We've talked about how we have existing controllers and we could kind of move them in there. Well, this is how we're going to cre uh, uh, create it. Go artisan, make controller. And all I have to do is type in the folder and say users controller. And that's it. As you can tell, it's right here. And here's the cool thing. It already put in this use for us and it already namespaced it for us. So I'm just going to create a public function, function, function index return users we'll just say inside users I already have the route for it so now if I go here remember that everything's prefixed so here all I got to do is just type in users and here it says inside of users so we're able to access that well what if you know this is an administrative area what if I wanted to be able to only access that uh, whenever I was logged in so here we have this route I can put this whole group inside another group that's protected by an auth middleware. If I go here, I'm, I expect an error because I haven't made, I haven't done a mate auth or anything like that, or generate any of these views for that. So I'm gonna do PHP artisan make auth, and that'll generate those. The other thing I need to do. Uh, sorry, that's a small. The other thing I need to do is go to my Vagrant box, which mine is in Homestead, Vagrant SSH. Projects, and then I'm going to do Laravel.dev. Uh, I'm just going to cap my EMV file. As you can tell, I already have the um, database set up here in my EMV file. So I'm just going to say PHP artisan migrate so I got to make sure I have a user's table in order me in order for me to actually uh, register inside a user's table so if I hit refresh notice right here it goes straight to login if I click admin straight back to login so I'm protecting this whole group that's admin with a middleware auth meaning I have to log in in order for that to happen so I'm going to go ahead and register and I'm going to say this name is going to be, I'm going to say my name, getting started TV, my super secret password, hit register, and then this takes me to home. I don't have any navigation saying go to the admin area, but if I go over here and say take me to admin, we are in admin. We are in users. Go back over here and let's say I log out. Admin, nope, can't get there. You're gonna to have to log in to get to admin. So real easily, we can kind of create this uh, administration uh, administrative area, uh, prefix it correctly, and then organize it correctly with this namespacing and then put all of our routes inside of here. And they're all protected with this middleware auth. So this is a great way for you to organize your controllers inside your Laravel applications, whether you have existing applications or you have new applications. Again, my name is Isaac Castillo. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again soon.